What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So one of the things I struggled with probably the most when I first started with Blender was figuring out um, how the object origins worked and how they affected the way that everything was happening inside of Blender. In this video, we're gonna talk about some tips that can make working with the origins a lot easier, like snapping the centers, other things like that. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so in Blender, by default, every object has an origin. And so you can see what the origin is by clicking on an object. Sometimes that origin is centered on the object, like this little orange dot right here. Sometimes the origin is off of the object over here. And this is important because the origin is basically going to determine the point in which this is located in a 3D space. And a lot of things that you do with this are going to be affected by the object origin. So for example, I've got this box right here. If I tap the R key and the X key, notice what that's doing is it's rotating around the center of the object. It's doing what you would expect, right? Same if I scale it, it's scaling it from the center of the object. However, if I have another object like this one and I do the same thing, so if I rotate it, notice how this object is rotating based on a completely different point, right? And if I scale it, it's not scaling based on the center, it's scaling based on that point as well. That's because the origin is what dictates how things are applied to your objects inside of Blender. So being able to control it is really important. Okay, and so it's important to understand that your object origin can be changed for an object. So for example, and we're just gonna use this as a very loose example. If I was to set my 3D cursor right here, and then I was go to object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor, notice how that origin moves around. So there's a ton of different ways that you can move an origin around inside of Blender, but just note that they are editable with each object. So one way that you might've seen the origin move around that maybe you didn't want it to is if you tap into edit mode right here, and I was to select everything in this object, right? If I was to tap the A key, and then I was to tap the G key and move this, notice how it's moving around but the origin itself, itself is staying in place, right? So if I move this geometry like this, the origin is staying in place even though I've moved this object. That can lead to some weird results where like your object isn't scaling about the center anymore, other things like that. And so the first place that we usually go to find um, ways that we can adjust the origin is to tab back into object mode. Really probably the best way to do this is to edit it inside of object mode. Though you could, for example, tab into edit mode, move your object around until the origin is where you want it to be. I don't really recommend that. But the first place that we usually go is object set origin. And so what that's going to do is that's going to allow us to adjust some things about our object. And so there's five basic objects or options in here, right? The first is geometry to origin. So if I click on that, notice what that's gonna do is that's gonna take your object and it's going to place it over this point right here. So it took that geometry and it moved it so that it's centered on my origin point. And notice how I can set two different places in here. I can set median center and I can also set bounds center. And so usually I just leave this on median center. Um, this can act a little bit different if say you're inside of edit mode. Let's say I have another face like this one. I'm just gonna move it over here. And that's gonna rotate in here and then I'm gonna tab back into object mode. If I was to do object set geometry to origin again, notice how I'm gonna get slightly different results based on if I pick the median center or the bounds center. Um, so you may just need to play around with those if this isn't putting this where you want to go. But you can use this in order to move your geometry to the origin inside of Blender. But you don't necessarily want to do that. Most of the time what you're gonna do instead, because you've usually placed your geometry somewhere in the 3D space that you want it to be, right? Whatever that is, like if I set it on a ground plane or something like that, I don't necessarily wanna move it again. So what you can do instead is you can do an object set origin to geometry. And so what that's gonna do is that's going to take my object or it's gonna take my origin and it's gonna place it where my geometry is. And notice how again, I have the options for median and bounds center, but this is basically going to try to find the central point in the 3D space um, inside a blender of your object. And it's going to try to place your origin there. So that's usually, if you have something that's symmetrical like this, probably the easiest and best way to do that um, because it's really fast to do. Okay, so next up, 
we have a little bit more of a custom option, which is set origin to 3D cursor. And so what that's going to do is wherever your 3D cursor is, that's where this is going to place the object origin. So the nice thing about this one is it gives us a lot more control over where this is going to be located, right? So I can do a shift right click um, in order to place my 3D cursor wherever I want. And then I can just keep moving my origin to my 3D cursor. Um, one thing that we do a lot of is we use snapping in order to place this. So if I click on this option right here to toggle my snapping on, notice how I have different options in here for snapping. And we've talked about this before and I'll link to a video about it, but this gives us some really interesting options. Like for example, I can set this to snap my 3D cursor to a vertex. So if I do a shift right click, notice how my mouse is allowing me to snap my 3D cursor to these different vertices in here. So I can pick one, and then do an object set origin to 3D cursor like this. So if you wanna place something on the end of an object like this, that's really easy to do using the 3D cursor. You can also set this to like an edge center right here. So if I wanted this to snap to edge centers and I wanted to find the central point of an object like this, I could use this to find the center of an object and then set my origin right there. So in this case, this would be really helpful if you wanted to like rotate this around the corner of the object, you're going to want to set, um, you're going to want to set your origin to this edge and notice how this allows us to rotate this along this point right here. Note that there's a pie menu that you can pop up by doing a shift S. And what that's going to do is that's going to give you options for placing your selection. And more importantly, for what we're, we're worried about placing your cursor. So for example, I can do a shift S and then a cursor to world origin. That's going to snap my cursor to the world origin. If I do a shift S cursor to selected, it's going to find the origin point of this object right here, right? So, so far, nothing different than what we've seen. Um, we probably get a little bit more control of the snapping. However, um, the number of times that I've needed to place something in the center of a face, um, I, want, I need to do that all the time. And none of these options really allow us to do this. But if I tab into edit mode, select this face by clicking on it and then do a shift S in edit mode. What that's going to do is that's going to allow me to place my cursor to the selected point. Well, the selected point always goes in the center of your selection. So in edit mode, it tries to place this in the center of your selection. Well, in this case, what that means is that means that I can select a surface, do a shift S and do a cursor to selected, and I can find the center of a face really quickly. So this would also work if I was to place my 3D cursor over here and do something like a cylinder like this. I can just tab into edit mode, select that, do a shift S, do a cursor to selected, and then I can tab back into object mode and do an object origin to 3D cursor. So if you need to find a central point on a face inside a blender, just tab into edit mode, select that face and use this tool in order to do that. So this can be a really fast way to set an origin to really whatever point you want inside a blender. So there's also an option here for object set origin to center of mass. And there's two options in here, origin to center of mass surface and origin to center of mass volume. Notice how those are slightly different in the way that they calculate, but it's basically trying to calculate the uh, mass of the object and then try, the, try to find the center in two different ways. So you can use this to try to find a central point on like an oblong object like this, something like that. A lot of the time, you're probably going to want to do more of a snapping thing and just place this in here manually. Um, it's just going to work a little bit better. All right, and so sometimes we just want a little bit more direct control without actually messing around with the 3D cursor. Well, you can get that by selecting an object. And then if you go up to options right here, notice that there's an option in here for effect only origins, right? And so what that's gonna allow you to do is that's gonna allow you to take your object origin and actually move it around as if it was a piece of geometry in Blender. So let's say that I wanted to snap this to like a bottom vertex or something like that. As long as I have effect only origins set in here, you can use this to actually move your object origin around like this. And it gives you a lot more control without having to worry about the place 3D cursor or move things around, other things like this. I use this one all the time. Um, notice how you can also affect the um, orientation of the axes for the object in here as well. So that can be really important if you're using any kind of like array modifier or anything like that. So that's probably the biggest one you need to know is using the effect only origins function in the upper right hand corner. All right, so being able to quickly move an object origin around can get really important, especially 
especially when you start doing advanced functions with modifiers and other things like that. So let me know if there's any tips that I missed in the comments down below. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.